Hello everyone and welcome to Chef RPD. So I just unlocked a brand new skill. I'm doing my like morning routine a little- Ooh, we got a new random recipe. Very exciting. I need more onions for sure. And I'll grab some ginger while it's there. But I just unlocked a brand new skill. And it's called Magni. Which is supposed to give me plus 30% revenue from restaurant dishes. So we're going to try that out today. I do have three Wagyu steak recipes. I just unlocked the third one like yesterday. So I'm quite excited to see how much money we can make. So we're going to go get started. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and check everybody else to see if there's any more recipes I need. And let's see what these ones are. Maybe some more Wagyu. Already unlocked. Oh, I hate that. I hate it when it's already unlocked. I already have a bunch of money because I have been using Wagyu a bunch. And I do have the tea house unlocked and I'm going to be using my tea house restaurant. So if you don't want to be spoiled, uh, don't look at it because <laughs> we're going to go to the tea house today. Let's see if Bowie has some treats for me. Yes. Give me the recipes. Thank you, sir. Ooh, nice. We got some scallop risotto. And some lobster tail with asparagus. Perfect. I always like to come over here too. I like to get this food. This deluxe one. I'm going to grab a bunch of those. But I did notice today when I logged in, which is quite nice, that we now have a, a fast waypoint to the bathhouse. I guess maybe if you unlocked it, you you're able to fast waypoint. So that is amazing. Because who wants to walk back and forth all the time? Not me. Definitely not me. It is kind of early, so I wonder if we should start. But let's go ahead and make sure that we have our menu checked out. I'm going to have three Wagyu steak recipes. And we're going to be doing the Wagyu tartare with egg. And we're going to have... Ooh. Where is it? This one. Ooh, do we need flour? Oh, I think I brought... I brought flour. We got supplies, don't you worry. But this is the tea house, if you haven't seen it before. Uh, let's kind of put the flour, gonna put some onion in there, some more of that ginger. Let's pop that in there too. And the eggs. So let's see now. We should have enough of everything to run our restaurant day correctly. So we're gonna do the steak burrito with honey. And the Wagyu Tartare with Egg. These are both very, very high amounts of money. And I'm really interested to see with the 30% how much money we can make. And then we're also going to do this one right here. The Wagyu Steak Sandwich for our main course. And that's all I'm going to put on the menu right now. Is just my three Wagyu recipes. And we're going to see. Very excited. It is morning. Normally I like to wait a little bit. But we're gonna go. Oh, and it's just it's it's December or it's winter in the game for me right now. And it's the fourth day of winter and like look at that view with the little snowflakes and everything. That is so so cute. But let's go ahead. I'm gonna refresh my tea if I have enough of everything. Yeah, let's do some strong tea. We'll make it some sweetness in there. Let's grab in. Let's put in some uh, pineapple too. And set that up. So we got 30 tea ready. And we're going to have some early, early... Oh, I hate it. I hate it when you do the tea thing. It like resets your appetizers and everything, but that's okay. We will redo that. We will redo this one. And I think we're good to go. Yeah, let's do some fancy early lunch and see how much money we can make. Let's do it. Uh, ooh, let's change our clothes first. Let's see. I want to put on my fancy dress. Very fancy. And did I, I have my chef hat too. We're going to do it. All right. Let's open up a restaurant with our brand new skill. Let's look at it again. I always forget that we have. Uh, right here. Plus 30% revenue magnate. I am level 38 too, so I am quite high in level as well. But let's do it. Let's do the tea house restaurant. And I do have auto cook turned off right now. I find that I think my restaurant does better when I like cook some recipes myself. So we're going to see how that goes. And uh, let's do it. 
Did we get it before somebody else? Nope. Our chefs are good. They're so good. So I do have a ton of staff to kind of help me run this restaurant. And they get it before me. No, I'm a chef. I want to cook. Oh, I grabbed one. Perfect. So we're going to come over here. And this is one of my, the new one that I got. Oh, it's the DDR one. I'm bad at this one. Like when there's two that I'm supposed to do, I just, like, I just don't sometimes. But let's see if we can get, oh, I missed that up. It's okay. Everything's fine. Except it's not. My reputation's on the line. Okay, we got 48. Uh, maybe we should turn auto cooking on. <laughs> No, it's good. It'll get better. It always gets better. It'll be fine. I'm just warming up. All right, we get we get a chance to redeem ourselves. Let's go and see what we can do. Okay, DDR time. We're gonna do it. Oh, I'm gonna skip the doubles because I just can't right now. It's just too much. There we go. Ooh, I'm so bad at DDR. Okay, we get 93. I like 93. That, that's okay. That's good for me. <laughs> I should be aiming for 100, I know, but you know what? It's fine. All right, this one I've been getting pretty good at. We have the grill one over here. So we gotta pick these up. I hate when they're like doubled up. I kind of like move it around. I'm like, get out of here. Don't be doubled up. All right, so we need to pick up our flour. We need to get our steggies. Oh, we need to get our ooh, wine. And then we need to get our ginger. And our flowers toasty. 100% Wagyu steak sandwich. Yes. So good. Alright, we're gonna put that over here. And what do we get? Oh, DDR! So bad at DDR, guys. So bad. Alright, let's do it. Alright, we're gonna concentrate. I want my restaurant to do well. Oh, I'm going to skip that one. Oh, yeah. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Yes, I did 100% on the DDR one. That one's my hardest one. Because I have a hard time doing the double up. For some reason, my brain just like, is just like, no. No, we don't. We don't do that. We don't do double arrows. We just don't. Fan. All right. But I suppose practice will help me be better at DDR. All right. Ooh. Yes. Oh, I did it. Yeah, I did a double one. Oh, and now I'm gonna mess. Oh, now I messed up. Don't get cocky. All right, 72. That's still passing. It's still like a C. I'm okay with it. All right, let's see. Oh, we got this one. We are gonna go. And I guess I will have timestamps probably in this video too if you just want to see how much I make at the end of this like lunch service. But uh, we're just going to play the game. Like, do you ever hear about playing games? No, go get, get the ginger. Oh, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Yes, 100% Wagyu steak sandwich. Man, that sounds delicious. That sounds so yummy. All right. Let's put that over there. Do you see I have like tons and tons of grills? <laughs> just like I need I need multiples of all the things that I use a lot. Just because it makes our restaurant run so much better. Ooh. Pick you up. Oh, let go. Sometimes they're like clingy. Ooh, let go. 97. Not bad. Not bad. I'll take it. All right, it's 1.30. How's everybody doing? We got 30 T's in there. I'm checking my staff a little bit to see, because I don't like to work them too hard, because when they just get so, like, tired, it's just no bueno. But they seem... they're doing okay-ish. Ish. Ish enough. All right. We're going to move that one over here so it's easier to pick them up. All right, we're going to get this, this, this. Ooh, get the wine. Don't put wine on the grill, guys. Don't do that. Don't do it. 74. I thought that was a good one. I thought it was good. Man. 
Ooh, this one, the steamer one. This one took me a long time to kind of like figure out how to do, but you literally just mash. Just mash the sides. That's all you have to do. Alright, that one's got it. And then this one. And then we'll let that one go a little bit. Alright, perfect. Now we just keep up our pace. We should be getting a good score on this one. Yes, 100% steak burrito with honey. Yes. Perfect. Alright. Oh, DDRY. DDRY. Yeah, we're good. Alright, we do that. Ooh, that's how they get me. I'm gonna just skip one of them. Alright. Feeling ooh, see as soon as I start feeling confident, it just breaks me. See? See? 71. Still passing. Still a C plus. I'm still happy. Alright, two. So we started at like eleven. Eleven. Okay. We'll do we're probably on the service. A little bit. And then see how much we make with the new magnet skill. Magnet. Magnet. Magneto. Pick you. Alright. Ooh, 100 percentile. Okay, let's go. Let's close it. Maybe we'll close at 3.30. 3.30 will be good. That seems like a good number. Just so we have some goals in life. Alright, DD Dart. Oh, you're gonna start me off? Oh, man. Ooh, this one's not gonna do good. But I still- it feels like I still get, like, a better score. Even when I do it like this and get, like, C's and stuff. Than doing auto cooking. So maybe that's a good tip if you're not- And I do find that I'm leveling up in- my cooking skill a lot more. Oh, where is it? I always have such a hard time finding anything. Right here. I do find that I'm leveling up in my cooking skill faster when I'm actually like cooking. So that's something to note too. If you want to get your cooking skill up a little bit more, maybe turn off auto cooking for a little bit. Except if you have the DDR one and it's dumb, but it's okay. We're getting better. we go. Just a couple more slices. Ooh, I'm gonna skip one of those. My brain just can't comprehend. Still 87. Still happy. I'm happy with that. This one doesn't look as good as the other ones, though. <laughs> that waggy recipe, it's just like... I don't like that one as well. Alright, so let's see. Oh, I need to get this one up. Mash, mash, mash. Okay. And let's see. Should be 100%. Yes. I can't believe I'm good at that one now. That one took me so long to, like, figure out how to do it well. Alright, let's do it again. Just mash, mash, mash. And... Oh, that one's going up too high. There we go. And... 40! Did you see that, guys? 40%! Sometimes I feel like the games are crazy. Like, what? What do you mean? Oh, we passed our time. Let's close the restaurant. We still have to do these orders and then any orders that come in. And we only have 11 teas left, so our staff is quite tired after all. Love the fish tanks. Love the pretty fish tanks. Perfect. Oh, and I want to show you the vendor, too. If you haven't unlocked the tea house yet, there is a special vendor in the actual tea house where you can get some new restaurant furniture for special tickets that you get from doing the uh, food in the tea house. So I'll show you guys that vendor and the really cool things that they have because it's some pretty nuts. I haven't bought anything yet, though, from there. Because I'm trying to save my tickets up. But they look really, really good. 
and I definitely want to like redo my restaurant completely with all of these special tea house furniture. All right, so this might be the last one that we get to do for this lunch service that we're doing. Fancy smanchy, like a thousand dollars a pop. All right. And this one, 100, getting pretty good. All right, how's everybody doing? Looks like everybody's okay out here. I wish we could talk. I wish we could talk to the... to the customers as, like, the main chef, like, be like, Hi, how's everything? Maybe we can. Maybe I need a special skill. Or maybe that's something that they'll add. Oh, we're out of tea. We are out of tea. Oh, no. But yeah, I wish we could, like, talk to them and be like, Hey. Did you enjoy your meal? Is it good? Because that happens to me when I go to restaurants sometimes. Like, even, like, Olive Garden, pe there's people will walk around and be like, Was everything good today? And be like, sure, I don't know who you are, you're not my waitress, but yes, it was, it was yummy. <laughs> Alright, so it should be ending. We got a couple more stragglers here. And then we'll see how much we made. And I'm excited. We're gonna get so much money. It's gonna be good. All right, three more people. Oh, this guy's sleeping. Jermal, wake up. Wake up, Jermal. Uh, one tip that I will say if you're playing and you're struggling, getting recruiter. Um, which one was it? Getting this staff training is very, very useful. It helps your staff to like level up their skills on their own. And also recruiter is huge because you can start to find different level chefs and different level like waiters and waitresses and they'll have higher stats. So they'll make better food and they'll be better at serving the food. So that is a huge tip for your restaurant to get those skills. All right, so the last little stragglers are leaving. Get out. Shoo. And oh, snap. Look how much we made. So much money. All right, how's their satisfaction? We did 98 dishes. And we made a ton of money. Oh, man, we're rich. We're so rich now. I don't know what I'm going to spend all this money on. And we got those tickets. So I've been saving up my peony tickets. I'll show you the vendor down here, which is right here in front of the bathhouse boutique. This will unlock when you do the bathhouse quests and stuff. Uh, but if you, you can actually shop here and they'll sell like different um, swimsuits sometimes. This is how I got that bow. Uh, or what is it? pink bunny ears. I got it from her. Uh, but doing redeem is where you can actually redeem your peony tickets. And they have some really, really awesome like kitchen counters and some tables. And I've been just saving up everything. But all these chairs and there's some new special flooring here too. And these plants are huge. There's like four pages of these really, really like alien vibrant looking plants it's so crazy oh my goodness but yeah i just wanted to like kind of like show you guys uh the new skill i just got i was pretty excited about that the magnet skill uh let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below and thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in another episode very soon bye